Peru News Today All you need to know about to Peru Abencia Mesa, Between Fame and the Crime Scandal On June 25, 2009, the vernacular singer was found dead in her Circo apartment, hanged and stabbed. Days before she had accused Abencia Mesa if something happened to her. For this case, the Queen of Paranditas is serving a 30-year prison sentence. June 25, 2009 was an unusual day for newspaper editorial offices in Lima. Early in the morning, actress Farrah Fawcett, from the legendary series Charlie's Angels, had died. Hours later, the entire world was saddened by the death of Michael Jackson, the King of Pop, from a pethidine overdose caused at his home in Los Angeles, California. And while millions of her fans around the world mourned her departure, in Peru news shook the world of entertainment with the effect of a hurricane, the police had found the vernacular singer Alicia Delgado dead and stabbed in apartment 602 of the 161 Boulevard Street, in Circo. The so-called princess of folklore had been dead for two days. She was found face down, with signs of torture and rape, as well as nine stab wounds and obvious signs of strangulation. One piece of information caught the attention of the homicide agents, the murderer had taken a safe with money and jewelry. A cinematic hunt was immediately launched for the alleged murderer, Pedro Cesar Mamanchura Antunes, Alicia's driver, who had disappeared with the singer's car, a Hyundai 4x4 truck, license plate in degrees RON 323, Tucson model. Who was Alicia Delgado? Born in Oyon, in the Lima region. She recorded her first song at the age of 16 and after her fleeting success she was able to travel throughout Latin America spreading Peruvian folklore. She later married Ruben Retour too, she had her son Junior and lived in the United States for many years. When she returned to Lima, in 2000, she was already separated from her, very few knew her. That's why she struck up a friendship by convenience with one of the main folk singers of that time, Abencia Mesa who helped her relocate to the world of wino and show business. It was a bad decision. From friendship of convenience, they moved on to an open relationship that scandalized the very conservative Andean society. There were years of fights, reconciliations and complaints. They went to television shows together, sang on the same stage and vacationed in the same place. In 2008, Alicia and Abencia were living a torrid romance that was overshadowed by jealousy arguments, fights and even physical attacks. According to statements by Alicia Delgado herself, on one occasion the artist attacked her and left various bruises all over her body. Even at that time, the vernacular singer indicated that she would ask for guarantees for her life. Until Alicia said that's it. She no longer wanted her love, disappointed with the alleged infidelities of the queen of partying. Apparently Abencia did not accept this decision. He kept trying to get on with her and, in Alicia's words, harassed and threatened her. Scared by this, Alicia decided to record a premonitory video. I have been constantly threatened and if one day something happens to me it will be known that I have been threatened. She has said that if I don't come back, if I don't come back, to her, the day she sees me with a man she is going to kill me. Dead I'm going to get rid of her, she pointed out. What she didn't know was that she already had the enemy at home. Pedro Mamanchura, her future murderer and former Obencia worker, had started working as her driver just 10 days before. It is believed that he informed Mesa of all the movements of the Princess of Folklore. Death According to the ruling of the Fourth Criminal Chamber with inmates in jail of the Superior Court of Justice of Lima, Mamanchura was seen entering on Tuesday, June 23, 2009 at 3 in the afternoon, apartment 602 on Boulevard 161, Monterico Urbanization, District of Santiago de Circo. This was stated by Silvestre Kaya Wawamani, the building's doorman. At 7.30 p.m. of the same day, Diego Alexander Claros Ramirez, a cleaning employee, saw him leave carrying a dark colored box in his arms, to go to the parking lot where the victim's Hyundai car was located. It was abandoned half an hour later in the Independencia district, which activated the alarm. Without knowing that she was dead, the police notified Alicia the next day, Wednesday the 24th, that her car had been found abandoned on a street. As Delgado Hilario did not respond to the notification, his relatives were summoned and on Thursday the 25th his sister Clarissa and his son Junior went to the police station, 
from where they left with a group of police officers to the artist's apartment, where they they found the body. It was not until Sunday the 28th that the murderer was arrested in a lodging in the city of Tumbes, where he had given a false name, horrendous crime. The autopsy protocol carried out on the corpse of the Princess of Folklore demonstrates extreme cruelty. She had two cut wounds on her neck and another under her left ear. She also had a groove and constricting element around her neck, apparently caused by the black leather strap that was found in that region, as well as blunt injuries on her neck, below the groove. Violaceous ecchymosis, hematomas, and linear excoriation can also be seen in the right lateral region of the neck and two ecchymoses on the thorax. Finally, a puncture wound in the hemothorax and three penetrating short puncture wounds in the dorsal region. Some of them were made after she died. The artist, in her desperation, scratched her murderer and that is why they found traces of skin on her nails. As soon as he was arrested, Mamantura accused her former boss, Abensia Mesa, of being the intellectual author of the crime. For this reason, on Monday she was preliminarily detained by order of the 17th Criminal Court of Lima. On July 7, 2009, Elizabeth Figueroa Cortez, head of the 50th Provincial Prosecutor's Office of Lima, criminally denounces Pedro Mamanchura before the judiciary for the murder of Alicia Delgado and Abensia Mesa as the intellectual author. Two days later, the singer is transferred to the Charlos Women's Prison and the murderer to the Miguel Castro Castro Maximum Security Prison, in Canto Grande. After a chaotic media trial, where the murderer said and renounced Abensia's responsibility, she was sentenced to 30 years in prison, while the perpetrator was sentenced to 35 years. On January 19, 2019, Abensia's legal defense presented before the 5th Unipersonal Criminal Court of Cajamarca, an appeal to review the sentence, pointing out an alleged violation of his rights to due process, the due motivation of the judicial resolutions, to the presumption of innocence, equality, personal freedom and the principle of congruence or correlation. However, the Transitory Criminal Chamber of the Supreme Court, chaired by Judge Jorge Castaneda, unanimously ratified the conviction of Abencia Mesaluna by declaring that there is no nullity in the sentence, the Abencia lawyer version. For Dr. Luis Tadella, Abencia Mesa's former lawyer, the Queen of Paranditas is innocent of Alicia Delgado's crime for several reasons. According to what he said, Throughout the trial it was proven that there was never any contact between Abencia and Pedro Mamanchura that could involve her client in the murder of the Princess of Wino. Likewise, he pointed out an irregularity in the tax accusation. The representative of the public ministry could not support his first hypothesis, that of indirect authorship, or intellectual authorship, due to the lack of evidence, and finally had to reclassify the crime, accusing Mesa only of instigating. Despite this, he was sentenced to 30 years in prison. Regarding the famous video in which Alicia points out that Abensia threatens her and holds her responsible if something happens to her, she relativized this evidence by pointing out that what Delgado was announcing was not a possibility of homicide, but rather that she was going to suffer emotionally due to the breakup with his ex-partner. Leave us your comment and subscribe to continue growing and follow us on our social networks, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. Peru News Today. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram.